Hey, everybody. I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays. Welcome to the show. This is called Total Chaos. It's a show where I take these two expert handicappers and pit them head to head. I'm giving them five games that happen on Friday, October the 15th. They're going to tell me if they think they go over or under. Whoever gets the most correct comes back as the winner, winner, chicken dinner. What's going on, Nick Parsons from the Insider's Room? Not much, Allie. Uh, totally looking forward to getting into this with uh, with Cameron here. Oh, Cameron Ross coming in hot. How you doing, Cam? I'm doing great. This time last week, I was in Arkansas just driving. So, you know, being sit- sitting here with you guys is glorious. <laughs> much better. That was quite the road trip. Uh, Cam road trip from Atlanta to LA and back. So it was wow. quite the road trip he was on there. Um, if you guys are just joining us, don't forget to give us that thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notification. Uh, that way you never miss any of our free content. Uh, okay, guys, so we're going to start off in the ACC. Clemson is at serious. The total on this one's 45. Nick Parsons, how do you see this one playing out? Yeah, this is a really interesting one. Uh, Clemson, just as an interesting note here, it's 0-5 against the spread coming into this one. Ali, I actually have a, a play on this game uh, up at Picks and Parlays. Uh, now, the Tigers, they're averaging 21.2 points. That's that's not a lot, obviously. Uh, but the Orange, and they're only giving up 24 points, but the Orange haven't been quite so sharp over the last two games. They've given up a combined 73 points. Uh, the Orange themselves, they're averaging 31.5 points. Uh, and they are averaging 32.5 points at home. And so, yeah, I think that, you know, the Tigers, the three and two, they desperately need a win here. I think these teams are going to be opening up the playbook. I'm going over. Over we go. Cam Ross, what do you think about it? Yeah, you know, I agree with him. You know, uh, Syracuse, they've been covering machines, and regardless of who Clemson lost, they're still Clemson. You know, they still have elite guys that come in and they are on this offense. You know, I think both of these teams are struggling – trying to figure things out the defenses haven't been dependent so I think it's just going to be time for the offense you know six touchdowns and a field goal here I don't think that's enough I think that's going to go over too all right so we agree remember people at home when they agreed those are our money making plays the consensus picks tend to be the most valuable on the show uh Cameron you're going to take on SDSU San Diego State at San Jose State a uh, little Mountain West action for you. Your number's 41. What do you got here? Yeah, you know, uh, same thing-ish in this game. San Diego State, they're playing great. Number 24 in the country, 5-0. and uh, San Jose State, 3-3. Three and three. But San Jose State plays pretty well at home. San Diego State, they're scoring 35. Uh, San Jose State scoring 20, giving up 20-plus. I just think... I just, I just really think San Diego State is going to be able to score enough to push this number, like alone. And I think, I think San Jose State will get something across. You know, this could be thirty-eight to ten, something like that. I think I'm going to go over here solely based on the ability of the Aztecs. All right, to ten, thirty-eight to ten. You said. Damn. <laughs> Nick Parsons, what do you think about this one? Yeah, I can feel this this sort of, you know, Cam struggling a little bit with this one. And, and this card, in fact, we were talking a little, a little bit about that before the show. It's, it's a difficult one for sure. Yeah. And so, yeah, this is a really low total, 41 and a half points. The Aztecs, you know, they're only allowing 16.6 points per game. The Spartans are only allowing 23.8. These are two really good defenses here, Ali. I'm going to jump out of the car with Cam on this one. I'm going under. Nick's rolling down the freeway, Cam. He's jumping out of the car. <laughs> we would have pulled over for you, Nick. We would have pulled over. Um, okay, so Cam is at Oregon. The number here is 54. Uh, go Ducks, go. Nick Parsons, what do you think is going to go down in this one? Well, ultimately, you know, the Golden Bears, they've been struggling in offense the last few weeks. They have issues moving, and I think they're going to have issues moving the ball on an Oregon defensive front that only allows 133 rushing, rushing yards per contest. So, yeah, I, I think the Ducks can take control of this game early and coast the rest of the way here. So I'm going under. Under. Cam, what do you say? What do you say? Yeah, I agree. You know, uh, Oregon potentially lost their shot at a national title last week, giving up 31 points to Stanford. You know, who plays for Stanford? I think uh, I think Oregon's going to I think Oregon's going to run it up. I think Oregon's going to score. But I don't see the Ducks keeping their guys in long enough 
to get to 54. I don't see Cal moving the ball well. I'm going to – I'll stay in the car, but I'm going to go under as well. All right. So we agree again. Up next, we've got uh, – whoa, North Texas is at Marshall. The number 66 and a half to you, Cameron. Yeah, you know, this is by far the biggest uh, number we have on the card tonight. And, you know, I can understand why. I think four of the last six times these two have met, it's gone over. North Texas, they had a game, their game last week against Missouri. You know, they saw the 80s. But Marshall is grinding games out, it seems. You know, they're – I mean, they have had high ones, 42-38, 44-10. But 34, 30, uh, 2013 last week, you know, this one, this one's tough. But uh, I just – I just – I can't, I can't do 60 plus. I'm going to, I'm going to go under. I think one of these teams is going to falter a little bit, maybe miss an extra point, maybe miss a field goal. And I'm just going to stay under in this game. Okay. Nick agree or disagree? I agree. And as you said, when we do agree, those are our strongest picks usually. So that's three of four that Cam and I have agreed upon here. I mean, the mean green has struggled uh, big time on defense. And so that's why this number is a little bit high, but Cam made some good points there. Uh, about, about the recent play of both teams there. And so, yeah, I just think this number is just a little bit too high. I'm going under. Under we go again. All right, so we're going to switch over to baseball. Tis the season for the playoffs. And I am loving it. We've got the Red Sox at the Astros on Friday. The total there is eight. I believe it's Chris Sale and Valdez are starting for this game. Uh, Nick, you're first. What do you think? Yeah, Framber Valdez and Chris Sale. Now, both of these guys had really good regular seasons. Uh, Valdez, he led the Astros in ERA for the, Ast uh, for the Astros and Sale. You know, he came back from the Tommy John and he looked fantastic. But then each looked terrible in their limited time and their one start uh, in their wild card or not their wild card, just their uh, division series games there. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I think these, these two guys can bounce back. These two guys are eager to, uh, you know, atone for their really horrible outings there. I think Sale gave up like six runs or something in just an inning and a half. I can't re remember exactly because he has like a 45 ERA at this point after like an inning and a half. So, yeah, I think these two guys bounce back. I think they're they want to fight. They're going to throw into the deep innings. And so this one goes under. Under we go. Cam, do you agree or disagree? Yeah, I agree. Even uh, even with both teams, they've been just punishing the ball. You know, I four four of each teams. Well, the Houston's last five games have gone over this number. <clears throat> the last three against Tampa for Boston, you know, they went over. But uh, these two these two teams are championship level caliber. You know, I don't. I think they both have the the bats and the offensive ability. But, you know, that's going to run out sooner or later. The far, the deeper you go, the better the pitching, the better the coaching, the higher the level. I don't think uh, I don't think the, the bats are going to do as well here. I'll go under as well. OK, so we agree again. I love it. I love when we agree on things. It keeps it all simple. All right. We're going to do a little bit of recapping here. Uh, just a reminder, these games go down on Friday. If you're looking for me, find me on Twitter at Plus Money Honey. If you're looking for Nick Parsons, you can find him on Twitter at The Insider's Room. And when you're at PicksandParlays.net, that's our website where you find the premium plays and packages. You're going to find Nick Parsons under The Insider's Room there as well. Nick, what do you got lined up? for this weekend. It's a big weekend. We got week six NFL, week seven college football. We got some major baseball going on. What do you got lined up for us? And NHL, holy and cow. Hockey, yes, and and NBA hockey. coming up the week after that. So it's all here. And then shortly after that, college basketball. So we're we're in it here now for sure. Um, so yeah, another big weekend, of course. Uh, we're nine and two in the NFL since week four. I uh, went three and zero oh with my Saturday college football plays last Saturday, so I'm going to have full cards on both Saturday and Sunday. And as Ali mentioned, you can find that under the Insiders Room at PicksandParlays.net. You are. I'm over at the leaderboard right now. You are number one for the year in all picks, plus four thousand two hundred forty-five units. Is that what that is? Units. That is what it is. That is bad. A Nick Parsons. You know uh -huh. what? Hey, ma'am. A. Know what else is bad, A eh, Cameron Ross? You are the number one hot capper this week over at the site. Um, you are up 1,158 units just for this week alone. So you are bad, A eh, also. 
And I see you as number nine overall for NHL. So what do you have lined up at the site this week? A lot. You know, uh, like he said, we're right in the thick of it. We are five, four or five days away from football, baseball, basketball, and hockey going on. There's that short little window, and it's just chaos. But, uh, no, it's going to be a chaos. lot. You know, yeah, see what I did there? Yeah. Very Talk good. No, you know, big, big, uh, big action in baseball, you know, playoff games. The next, the championship rounds are starting. Um, college football is getting into the thick of it. You know, conference play, everything's going on. NFL's tightening up. There's going to be a lot of plays. NHL, too. You know, we're trying to get the feel for NHL as well, but there's going to be a lot of picks this weekend. All right. All right. So you can find them both over at picksandparlays.net. There's a promo code on the screen. Oh, gosh, not anymore. There it is. Um, it's NHL, and that saves you 20% off the entire site. So Nick's packages, Cam's packages, or get both of their packages together and save 20% off of that. That's how you make money. That's how you make money, people. All right. So let's recap. We've got Clemson at Syracuse, and they're both going over. San Diego State at San Jose State. We split on. Cam is going to take this one over. Nick is going to go under a california at oregon they're both going under that 54 north texas at marshall they're taking it under that 66 and a hook too many points and red Sox at the astros they're going under the eight so excellent round we've got a deciding game here in sdsu at sjsu so we will have a winner boys and girls thank awesome. you guys so much for being on the show as always best of luck to you and may the best capper win Thanks, Ali. Later. Good Cam. luck, everybody. Good luck.